Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's video is another episode of Wix Principles where we show you the principles of building websites in Wix. For this video, we're gonna be focusing on the links that you should be putting inside of your headers and footers. So if we check out this website, a lot of times I do see headers that look like this with a menu that looks way too long. And in fact, it's so long that it has way too many pages and it just resorts to this little more option, which if I press preview and I hover over more, you'll see our additional pages. And I know in the newer editors, we no longer have this more option. Instead, it allows you to either scroll or the links will kind of wrap underneath. Although that's just another version of this more. And ideally, you don't really want this. In fact, when you go to most websites, you'll only see maybe a max of five different pages as options in the header. You want to take your users on a journey through your website, not have them be so confused as to which page they should be going to. You want to kind of construct your own journey that you want your users to follow. Another way to choose the pages you want to put in your main menu is to look at the traffic in your analytics, see which pages are getting the most traffic and maybe use those in your menu. But realistically, the pages that you put in your menu should all depend on what you're trying to do. If you are selling some kind of course, then you want your users to see what courses you offer and let's say you want them to purchase or maybe even join a plan to view the courses. So you would want a page for courses and if it's a subscription based course, then maybe you would want a page for plans and pricing in the menu as well. But if we take a look here at this menu and we press navigate menu, it's going to open up all of the pages that we currently have. Let's just say we're a typical web design company. And the pages that we might want in the menu would maybe be about services, projects, slash portfolio, blog, and maybe a contact. The rest of these pages can either be put in the footer and or could be integrated into other pages. For example, the about page could have a section that links to the team page. So let's go ahead and get started. So for home, we don't really need home in the menu, so we'll go ahead and hide that. Because with most modern websites, we are kind of trained that the logo will always take us back to the home page. So we'll just click this logo, we'll link this, and we'll link this to the home page. So now, even though we don't have the home page in the menu, it's still technically in our header, and people know what to do with that. Next, we do kind of want about services and project and blog, so let's just leave those here. For the rest of these, we're just gonna go ahead and hide them. If you want contact to be in the menu, you can do that as well. However, another great method you can do is go ahead and hide the contact page. We'll bring in the menu just a little bit and let's add a button. So we'll have a button right next to the menu and this can say get in touch and we can link this to the contact page. So now if we take a look here, we'll see that we can go straight to the home page and we have the about page, services, projects, blog, and even a get in touch button, which links to the contact page. And this also kind of serves as a call to action. So when the user comes to your website, they will automatically know that they will want to get in touch with you if your website is right for them. But now let's go ahead and move on to the footer. So there are a million different ways that you can design a footer. However, the one thing that I really wanna show you is this is gonna be a great place for integrating more of your links that would typically not fit inside the header. So for now, what I want to do first is actually just drag out the menu. So here we have the basics just right here. And if we wanted to, we could also just get this get in touch button, plop this down here as well. And we'll put it right next to this. So we kind of, in a way, replicated the header menu. So we have these four different options and the button. Once again, we can come over to the logo and make sure that this links to the home page. So that way, if the user is on the footer and wants to go straight to the home page, they'll have that option here. And now under this menu, let's go ahead and add a line. So we're gonna to go to decorative and we're just gonna drag out this themed line right here. 
and we'll put it right underneath the menu and we'll stretch it to be like the same length as the menu. Okay. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and add a button. For this button, I want to press layout and send the text to the left. I want to go to design, customize design, and we're going to remove the border just like that. And maybe for the text, we'll make it black. Okay, perfect. Now, if we go to hover, let's remove the background fill. Let's go to text color and make this the blue. Perfect. So now with this button styled, what we can do is come over to our pages and look what pages that we haven't linked. So basically what we need to do is link the FAQ reviews and team. So what makes sense under about would probably be team. So what we're going to do is say team and we're just going to link this one to the team page. Under services, we could maybe even list out our services. So if you've created dynamic pages for each one of your services, you could turn this into each one of your services. So let's say we call this one service one, and we would link this to the dynamic page for number service one for the service one. Then we could just copy and paste it, bring it underneath, call this one service two and so on for all of the different services. So I'm just gonna copy and paste these and bring these right underneath, just like this. For projects, maybe we have a certain list of projects. So once again, maybe you have dynamic pages set up for this. So we can call this one project. And once again, we'll just copy and paste these. And maybe for the team page, if you want to have more options here, Maybe on the about page, you share your mission statement or your values and stuff like that. So you can even create on the about page, you can add anchor points to those sections and then create links here under the about to link to those specific sections on the about page. The next thing we maybe want to do is have a button here for reviews. So let's go ahead and change the text to reviews and we'll link this to the reviews page. And then last but not least, we want to link to our FAQ page. So we will just link this one. We'll call this one FAQ and we'll link it to the FAQ page. So as you can see here, now we have a footer that has all of the links that people can potentially go to and continue their journey in the footer but the main source in the header is just gonna be the bare bones and it's gonna send your users to wherever you specifically want to take them. So that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix and EditorX content coming out really soon. Thank you all again and I'll see you all in the next one.